Hey guys, so today I have kind of a very serious video. I wanna give my personally my my whole life tips how to save money. After I bought a house and I did a house tour video, people been asking like me to do video how I save money, what did I do, how I deal with these struggles. I had a struggle like there was a time in my life when I had no money. I was basically in the street. I was struggling a lot of with my finances and I basically was in the street which many of us are human beings and we come sometimes to this point that we know we do mistakes and after we regret but it's already too late so today's video is going to be my personally honest advice on how to save money for whatever dream you have to buy a house or go on vacation to hawaii buy us some car that you really really want i don't know whatever dream you have even if you want to buy a chanel bag that costs five thousand dollars this is up to you but today's video is how to save money so first tip and advice from me i read somewhere I don't remember now don't try to cut your expenses first thing try to make extra money actually it's making sense which is my first tip for example if you have like a shitty job or you have no job you can always find it's like so many opportunities in the world to find like kind of part-time job there are so many stuff for example like dog sitting I did dog sitting like for two years to make extra money and let me tell you this is so good especially if you love animals one time I remember one one client asked me to sit a big really really huge giant dog and for four days she paid me like three hundred dollars which is which is crazy and the second part-time job will be like babysitting can be cleaning can be helping your friends to uh, to move and still what I'm doing right now because I have my own house and I have one room so I'm renting on Airbnb I make extra money for me to pay my bills electricity phone and cable and stuff like this which is so cool so if you have extra room uh, you can rent out your room now if you are like a beauty addict like me if you didn't know in Sephora they can give you free samples if you ask nobody knows they don't tell you but if you really ask for example you need Laura Mercier and secret uh, camouflage palette and they have our samples they're gonna give it to you and perfume too I didn't know my friend told me about perfume when you go to Sephora you ask look I want that like Chanel 5 perfume and they actually put in like kind of big jar I remember I got like 15 milliliters jar for the Chanel if you really really need and by the way in Sephora if you buy any makeup you can try and return so for those if you didn't know so in this way you can save money or you can really make sure that you buy product that you like now for any spa like facials massages or anything if you like to travel if you like to buy something cheaper Groupon is number one web page where you can go and enter wherever you need i'm using in groupon for my facials for such a good facials now i was like uh, three days ago in one spa i found the vampire facial lift for 120 dollars this is like insane if you know kim kardashian did vampire facial lift it usually costs like from thousand to two thousand depends on the location and i found for 120 dollars which which is insane there is another um application called checkout 51 i use this uh, checkout 51 app for grocery stores so if you buy uh, from grocery store and take receipt you scan your grocery um receipt they have to see the date and you actually can get cash back so for example uh this week bananas if you buy bananas you can get 50 cents if you buy yogurt you can get 50 cents sometimes for like uh hygiene products like toothpaste and shower gel they give one dollar i don't know how they make money how this works but you can always make cash back with checkout 51. now if you are a traveler if you like to travel uh, use Airbnb instead of hotels um, I personally use Airbnb for the last five years I always travel only through Airbnb which is much much cheaper than hotels I went to New York uh, stay on Airbnb we went to Hawaii actually with my uh, husband and we rented a house in the mountains it's very beautiful on the like kind of on beautiful place where you can see all the Maui and it was so beautiful and it was so so cheap I'm like wow this is insane and then I checked hotel prices it was like three times more so always use Airbnb if you haven't and tip on Airbnb always only go to the places that they have reviews now for clothes for cosmetics for house decorations for everything you guys know if you're on my channel I love Ross 
Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom uh, Rack, all those kind of outlet discounted stores. I am so, so insane. Basically, all my makeup, everything you see on my bed, lights are from TJ Maxx for $29. Those are really, really modern. Lights, I have Marilyn Monroe picture right here in the front of me. I paid like $17. I have everything, even my mirror right here is from Ross, $12, like organizers for makeup. I have, but basically my old brushes are from Ross, from Marshalls and stuff like this. And my bed sheets, my pillows, curtains, everything, everything is from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Nordstrom Rack. Now about if you have to do a manicure, pedicure, hair and stuff like this. Personally me, I do everything by myself. I cut my hair, I do my manicure. This is, yes, this is my natural uh, nails. I do my manicure, I do my pedicure. I have never done manicure or pedicure ever in the salon uh, i don't cut my hair in the salon for like two years i actually dyed my hair before by myself when i did ombre for for my subscribers they know but now i did um highlights actually i found really really cheap hair stylist that comes to the house here in miami and she she dyed my hair really really for like really really good price you can watch all the tutorials how to dye your hair and how to do nails on youtube which costs no money so at the end of the day you save a lot of money offer up from offer up i bought my old flowers and old plants that i have in in the house i found a woman in miami that she sold hair like seven or eight plants for like 40 dollars. so i went to her i took all the plants then I replanted in the nice vases and I have beautiful flowers in my house. So if you don't know uh, Offer Up app, check it out. For example, you need washer and dryer, check it out uh, Offer Up and you're gonna find like two times, three times cheaper than you will go in Ikea or if you will go Home Depot to buy a washer and dryer. Now is a <laughs> funny trick that I use. When I shower, I turn off the shower actually, the water. In this case, you save water and I used to do this for many, many years, but now I bought a, a shower head, which you can uh, turn the, there is like a button that you slide, and while you're showering, like foaming your body or shampooing your hair or whatever, it saves water for you, so it runs not that strong current, if you if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> or if you don't have the shower head, just, just like turn off the shower so you will save money because for example my husband takes half an hour shower and I say this is no this is no way so I asked him to turn off the shower and then I bought for us shower head that actually saves water while we're shampooing and foaming our bodies and stuff like this you know now about credit cards if you buy something always always use credit card I have uh, from Chase credit card with which I get cash back so I am actually getting a month like from 20 to 50 dollars just because I use credit card but the problem with the credit card don't forget to pay back if you don't pay back don't use credit card and use credit card is always good for your credit score in the future if you want to buy a car if you want to buy a house and stuff like this so eBay I buy everything through eBay so for example if you shop online go to ebates and buy everything through ebates because if you buy through ebates you get cash back so last month i got a check for 20 dollars that i bought everything through ebates and it's so cool every month you can save like around i don't know how much you shop and stuff like this but for example i even bought massage i even bought facial um, this plasma treatment um, vampire facial i bought through ebates so go to ebates then go to groupon and at the end of the day you save so much money i've been using ebates for like four years i remember like maybe three years but i freaking love it because every month i can get check i didn't know this thing I was watching one youtuber's video and actually she said what's her name Vanessa I think I think her name is Vanessa uh, she said if you use um, if you do laundry use cold water instead of hot it's gonna save you um, energy and I remember I tried to do one month laundry with only cold water when you select on the washer uh, it, actually my bill came less than a month before that I didn't use cold water so if you didn't know use cold water instead of hot to save energy and actually clothes wash the same way nicely and clean like with warm water now about laundry if I do laundry and after I don't throw my clothes in the dryer because dryer um, runs electricity you pollute and warm it and your clothes after five or ten drying gonna become not so bright and from the red gonna be pink so I bought from IKEA this kind of uh, laundry uh, hanging rack that I pay I think $15 I just hang my clothes on this um, 
kind of laundry rack and it dries in one day and I basically save money on the dryer too. Now about vacuum, you don't have to buy vacuum, you don't have to waste your energy in the house if you don't have vacuum cleaner. I never ever had vacuum cleaner. Actually, I used to have like small carpets that I take small carpet, I shake it outside and it's kind of perfect way to save money. You don't have to vacuum, you don't have to worry, you just go shake it out, sweep everything, clean the house. For example, if you're trying, if you want to buy a new mattress that you have like your old mattress is bad, it's not comfortable or stuff like this, don't throw away this mattress and buy a new one. Instead of buying a new one, just buy a new top mattress which is way, way cheaper. We have a kind of older bed in guest room and instead of replacing all the mattress I just bought from Ikea mattress top which was I think like $89 and it's so so comfortable now so don't buy mattress buy like mattress top now one thing if you want to have a pet like some people like love pets like me like crazy I have a cat which I adopted from animal shelter here in Miami I paid $35 with vaccination with neutering with um, all the vaccines that they need the checkup and stuff like this so you don't have to buy animals, don't buy animals, adopt animals. You will save some life and you're gonna have some cute puppy in your house. So don't buy animals, adopt them. Now people saying, you know, Jin, how comes you have a house but you don't have a car? Yes, this is my answer. I have a house but I don't have a car. But I don't know guys what is more important for you to have a car or to have a house for me personally it's more important to have a house and I think sooner I will have maybe another house than car I never had a car in my life I'm almost 31 and I don't think I will have a car I just use a bus metro or uber if I have to go somewhere I use uber one different thing because I work from home if you don't work from home and your job is really far away then you need a car but I was living in Germany for three years my job was quite far away I bought a bicycle I bought a good bicycle and I just was riding bicycle all the time so even in winter time when it was minus 15 I used to ride bicycle all the time and I have bicycle here in Miami too I ride bicycle too like for example I remember when I met my husband when I met my husband has son so he always used to give money to Julian to go to school buy lunch I'm like, what? You don't save money? This is so wrong. So I, I make lunch for him. I teach him how to make lunch for him. He makes now lunch for himself for school and he doesn't need to have a cash to buy a lunch in this case we save money if we make food at home the same for my husband when he goes to work uh, he doesn't have to go on the lunch go to restaurant and eat you know or stuff like this even pizza i just say look i'm gonna make for you lunch or you gonna make for yourself lunch so you can save money don't eat out at school or at work prepare at home and then bring to work or school your lunch. Now, whenever you buy something, you go to grocery store, you buy gas, you buy this or this or this, always look for coupons. I get in my mail so many coupons, for example, for Publix, for Whole Foods, for groceries. So coupons are good. Whenever you have, somebody sends you coupons, don't throw away, use your coupons for everything, especially for groceries, for gas, I always use coupons. Another tip, don't have a maid, clean everything yourself. Why you need a maid? I don't know. I have a friend, for example, she's not working, she's staying at home, but she has a hiring maid to clean the house. Why, why to do this? I don't know. Like, so yeah, that's it, that's it. I don't know, I don't remember now anything else. I was doing this list for a long time, for more than a month, but this is my honest, honest, honest tips in my whole life that I've been since the day when I've been struggling in the I basically one day I had I was renting small 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 room uh, with some student people and the day came when I had no money I had maybe $100 in my pocket and I had no job I had to pay my insurance I had to pay rent and I didn't know what to do I know the struggle for those people I really really know I'm not a millionaire I'm not a rich person I just um made my good credit score, I saved some down payment um, 
a little bit of money and I bought this house with my husband and we are so so happy the house is not yet done but this is my own I can paint the walls pink orange uh, I can put on the floor wherever I want I can do backyard however I want I can make swimming pool I can do jacuzzi I can I can do whatever I want it's my house and I'm so so happy to have my place I know I'm paying mortgage by paying for myself mortgage I'm just thinking like this and um, I'm so glad I save. So my one one more tip in if you really want to save money, whatever you have reason, uh, you have to a little bit like um, push yourself in this uncomfortable position to suffer a little bit in order to receive a little bit more money and to buy it or pay bills, whatever you want. So I hope this video is helpful guys. <laughs> I'm tired of talking. So that's it for today. I love you so much. I send you many kisses wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you haven't, click the red button to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. I'm tired of talking. I forgot to mention something, guys, but this is so ridiculous. This is so funny. I don't even flush my toilet when I pee because I want to save water. My husband wants to kill me, but I do save water. And say what you want. And the bill is less than when I used to flush my toilet every day. I do not flush my toilet after I pee. After I pee only. After I poop, I flush. <laughs>